Hi everyone, Etta here. My box came in today for my order for the um, licensed R2D2 warmer, and I think I pick up. I think I picked up a couple of licensed bars at the same time. So, anyways, the box came in today, and I wanted to go ahead and open it. Um, and I'm I've been dying to see it, and um, I know that my nephew Nathan has been looking forward to seeing it, so I wanted to make sure I got this opened up and um, showed you the whole warmer and the little light and everything, so that Nathan, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you like it. I know that he's not necessarily your pick from the Star Wars collection, but um, I think he's going to be really, really nice. Anyways, the only thing I noticed um, about my box that has me a little concerned is it looks hopefully not that i would wish anything bad on anybody else's products but the edge of the box looks like it's been wet or greasy oily and i don't know if that's from my wax that's inside or i'm not sure so i'm gonna open the box now i'm trying to pull it away from the microphone so it doesn't make a ton of noise in the um in the mic and do this away from me so that it doesn't, I don't cut myself. Um, I'm really concerned about that grease or oil or whatever that is. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's mine. As you can see on the inside, it's all oily right there. Please don't have my warmer right there, too. All right, this paper. Oh, I see. Okay, so the warmer's on the bottom, and then they wrapped the bars in the paper and put it right on top of my box. And as you can see, it bled like crazy. trying not to be upset, but I'm not happy. Um, I think partially because it said shipped, today's Tuesday, um, and it said shipped last Friday, which means for them to say shipped, I'm thinking it was boxed and put to the side waiting to be picked up. So it's been boxed up since Friday. I don't know if the warehouse was warm, if it sat at UPS for a long time. I don't, I don't know, but, and of course they haven't started using the, the, um, oh my gosh, not only did it bleed, but one of the bars is like completely open, open. And you can see where the wax all like melted and kind of came out. Oh, well, I'm not as worried about the wax. I can clean up the clamshell and make do. I'm, I'm worried about the box and the condition of the warmer. Oh my gosh, the blue one, you can see that it, it looks like it melted. It's got the red on the other side from the dark side of the force. I, I purposely went, I got a six pack and I really only just wanted to get one each of the light side and the dark side just so that i'd have another set of the wax and basically they're both ruined i mean but ruined in the sense not that they won't work but ruined in the sense that i don't feel like i can just put them in my basket or whatever and i have to go clean them this one like i said got you know it basically sort of melted and then re-solidified a little bit and do this over the thing because I don't want to. I mean, because you could tell that it, like, I guess re solidified, but maybe once it got into my house, I don't know because I have it kind of cool in here. But you know, it, it it it's got red all over it. The other one has the blue one has red in it on the you know on the flap. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be complaining, but this this is not not very good to me. All right, this bar is okay. So. Basically, I picked up one bar of the light side, one bar of the dark side, and I figured I would just go ahead and do a six pack. And I picked up four more, four more of the True Love Awaits. 
And like I said, one of them was open. This one's got pink all on the side of it too. All on the inside, still a little, a little soft. And I, I did pick up four more because I really like the scent, um, but I wanted to go ahead and be able to take it out of my club. So I figured if I just picked up four more plus the ones I had already picked up, that would be enough. That's quite disappointing, quite disappointing. I mean, the paper is like, that's, and I, I think I see, yeah, I can see some, I can see some like oil marks on my box. It's on the bottom side of the box. I mean, it's not like this thing is $10, you know? Again, I don't mean to sound like I'm complaining, but I am. Again, it's not like it costs $10. And they always use, and I've said many times that they do such a great job of packing their stuff. I don't know. Maybe somebody was feeling a little lazy today or this day. I'm trying to open it from the other end so I can push the box down to get it out better. Let me see if I can see. All right, it doesn't it doesn't really look bad. It really doesn't. It's just a teeny tiny line on both sides right there. There's some right there and then some right there. All right, so here's the box. It's got the picture of R2D2 and basically galaxy looking along the side. You got another picture of R2D2 there. There. Nothing on the, nothing really on the top or anything. Um, let's see on the inside. Maybe they decorated the inside. <clears throat> they did. It says, I am the droid you're looking for. Beep, boop, beep. Let's see. All right. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to pep up my step here because I don't want to be a downer. All right. Got the little instructions out okay we've got the top to r2d2 pull that top out carefully so i don't break it considering the look i'm having um all right so here is the top and you can see it's got the holes in the back for letting the scent out it's glazed on the inside um, painted very very nicely so it's obviously a ceramic. <clears throat> Get that piece out. I have to put this back together afterwards because I'm not ready to put it out yet. So make sure I got everything. Yeah. All right. We got the bottom half of R2D2 here. All right. So. If I'm not mistaken, he is an element warmer, but he has that light for the hologram. So let me see what it says on the bottom. Uh, one wax warmer, base and cover for use with Scentsy bars. Um, it says 120, it's a non, nine watt element warmer. Nine watts, okay. So, I have it more for the hologram, not as much for throw purposes. I'm looking forward to seeing how that looks. So I don't have to, it's not like I got to put a bulb in to show you to you that way. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So you can put the top on and have it go any which way you want. Let me, um, let me get the little bit of the cord out so that I can plug it in to turn that light on. All right. I don't need a lot. I'm not going to be going far with it. I'm trying to do this carefully so that I don't break anything. All right. Put this in here. All right. So just to give you a look better at the bottom half, we've got here's the front of R2-D2. Really nice. 
He's got the dish up top, which looks like it's pretty deep. Um, you get a, he's kind of angled so you could see the dish better in the back. And then there's where the light is for the hologram. And it's like he's on, a, I guess, sitting on like maybe a rock and it says Sensi right there. And here's where the cord comes out. Beautiful look of R2-D2. What do you think, Nathan? You think they did a good job? Really, really nice. Let me put the top on. And technically, you could put you could put it on backwards if you wanted to. But, you know, have this face to the front. And you've got R2-D2. That is really, really nice. All right, again, there is where the light should come on. I am going to try, let's see. I may face it at the wall back there. I'm going to turn off my overhead light to see if that will improve um, the view. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. If not, I brought a white box with me. Um, let me turn it on. And oh my goodness, I'd have to turn off the lights completely, I think, in here. I can't see that at all hardly on let's see if i try to put it on the wall yeah i'm not i don't even know where it's pointing right now let me turn off my other lights and see how that does okay i guess we're in the dark now sorry about that Ooh. Stood right in front of where it's coming out. All right. Let's see. Might be able to put it on the wall. Oh, she's like too big now. <laughs> All right. Put it on here. She's still too big, I think. Hi. Oh, my goodness. She's like huge. I can't get her to... There we go. All right. I guess if you put it like really close, and of course now you can't see it. So let me, let me raise it. Oh, goodness. It's really hard for me to do this with one hand and all right. It's really hard for me to do this where you could see it. I hope this isn't, uh, this video might even be too dark really for you to, but I'm thinking, you know, if you have this on a table and you got the wall pretty much right behind it, you would be able to see this well. Again, you can't really see her that good on that back wall because she's the warmer so far from the wall at that point that, it's just way too big. Um, again, you can kind of see it. I'd have to lower my camera. It's easier if I raise this. So you can kind of see the look. And of course, I'm moving it a lot. I'm bringing it in closer. She gets smaller. I take, move it further away. She gets a little bigger. It's very, very nice. I'm going to try to turn the lights back on again. Sorry about that. I guess I could have actually I guess I could have just ended the video huh because that was pretty much the end of it so sorry I was such a downer at the beginning shouldn't have gotten so upset it's just you know you work hard for what you have for what you want to get and I'd like to come in I'd like it to come in in pristine condition obviously that's not always going to happen and now that we're getting into the warmer months more likely to happen. So anyways, that was R2-D2. Nathan, what'd you think? Did you like him? I think he's, I think he's cute. Um, I'm guessing, is, isn't R2-D2 a he? I don't really know. Uh, love the movie. Watched him several times, but uh, I've never actually paid attention to that part. So anyways, that is the R2-D2 warmer. And I believe he's still available for anybody who is interested in R2-D2. Um, you can go look for them on my website or any other consultant's website and pick them up. And those were the bars. That's it. Let me know if you got R2-D2 and what you thought of them. And until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.